everyone, and welcome to the map Alcyone. Joining me here for today's highlight professional match of StarCraft II, the upper right corner belonging to the blue probes, the blue nexus of Hero. And the Zerg opponent, the red drones here occupying the bottom left, none other than Dark. Recent GSL champion, might I say, in for a good match today, I hope. These two, a Dark and Hero, you know, really, <laughs> it feels like they face each other everywhere. Doesn't matter whether it's online, offline, tournament galore, three times a week. It never surprises me to see these two face off against each other. What does surprise me is Hero's complete and utter lack of scout. Not the usual play. Usually you'd see this probe over here causing trouble. Causing problems. Being problematic, if you will. But, uh, not today, it would seem. Hero is opting to try to have as many minerals as possible. His build must be rather close, might I, uh, might I say. Seeing the Nexus, of course, before the core, a little bit of a gamble with no scout, but also not an unreasonable, not a far-fetched claim to say. Going for that Nexus just a little bit quicker before getting possibly the Adept out. On the other side, and Dark, of course, not going for anything tricky, sneaky, at least at this point in the game. Dark is one of those players that can pull the trigger, really, at any time. Where are you going? Dark not up to anything tricky or sneaky, but maybe that's because Dark doesn't need to do it. Hero is already on it for the rest of us. The multiple patrols. Are you just delaying? Maybe just waiting? Mm. There's a Stargate coming up back at home, so it doesn't seem to me that it's actually something... Yeah, <laughs> not looking to proxy, just looking to delay, deny the third hatch. I think the drone might be able to get there though. No, go, no, totally fine, Zerg players. Drone will get to be that third hatchery. The Adept did make it across. Here to help out, maybe keep the Queen a little bit busy so that the probe wasn't in true danger. Two Zerglings, please. Non-issue. Not a threat at all. Now one Queen though. Okay. A choice from the Stargate, an Oracle, of course. To the surprise of no one, I hope. Dark's Link Speed's about to finish up. Could go after one Adept, but two is a bit more troublesome for this group of Zerglings. It's a Void Ray follow-up here. And the Adepts complete the Shade. Intriguing choices. Ling's going to try to help out with the defense, mostly in their form of tanking and sacrificing for the Queens. Dark quick with that drone. Oh, okay. One of them goes down. We'll likely lose that one too. Three drones in total. One of them now did become a spore crawler, which I suppose you might as well just let complete. Unfortunately, the Oracle here, slightly early. I would say also unfortunately for the Zerg. Very fortunately for the Protoss, of course. Taking a bit of hull damage, though. Oracle, un just under half health. Three more kills. Is it worth it? You do the math, you do the numbers. I'm gonna say probably. As long as you don't lose the Oracle, that's generally a good deal just don't uh, don't throw it away guys the void ray yeah hero actually did finish the void ray just going after overlords maybe there's one she's just turning around <laughs> he did the oracle spots the void ray or uh, spots the overlord for the void ray the void ray going to immediately turn around Oracle number one taking a bit more damage. Have to be a little bit careful here. At the very least, don't lose them all. Okay. If you, even if you lose one, 
as long as you have another one to keep up, you know, things like stasis or revelation, it's helpful. The adepts jam themselves between the nexus and the pylon, safety from those zerglings. One kill on this void ray, who did, it looks like, clean up the overlord. Now, Dark has no other overlords, gonna have to kind of tuck them away here, keep them safe. Yeah, just outside the natural, of course. Revelation Adept combo coming in. Gonna clean up a few of these creep tumors. Dark's queen count rising towards double digits, which is an excellent place to be. Really, in fighting anything except other zergs. You can't go wrong with more queens, okay? Adept shades are going to complete, make their way over to the third base. The drones, though, a little angry, a little hungry for Adept flavored dinner, it would seem. Three drones go down for three adepts. I'm going to say fine, because at this point, the adepts are going to start losing their value. Did you lose one oracle? Ooh, all right. Lost one oracle and lost quite a bit of hull damage, hull health on the other one. Health. <laughs> no, we won't combine that one. Hull and health. It's out here of the void ray. Helping to keep tabs on things, okay. The stalkers do not yet have blink, but I don't think they really need it if they get into an excellent spot here. There's no battery support, though, at the natural or at the third base. Just a very forward robotics bay. Okay. Hmm. Observers. Hero kind of halting that Stargate production, not going with what we would call probably the normal hero composition where you get an absurd amount of oracles and quite a few stalkers to back them up and go move across the map, punch your Zerg opponent in the face. Not seeing that come out, it would seem. Oh, battery is moving around. Blink, of course, complete for the stalkers, able to pick off a few of the lings. Now, dark does have the Roach Warren, does have the Bane Nest. Not really feeling like using either one at this point in time, though. Decent surround. Countered, of course, by Blink. <laughs> Which is essentially the Protoss version of just lathering up some butter on yourself so you don't have to get stuck by all those Zerglings. Just slip right on out of there. Decent stasis ward. At least uh, helping to shut down a few of the Zerglings. Dark little upset by that development it seems is going to just send the zerglings across smaller group on the right side might be telegraphing said attack the stalkers yeah i mm, don't think it's going to be a good idea to really go forward the lings are not going to be able to get in though zealots of like those will hold that the robo facility is the target over here it will be denied no more immortal production for a few moments here the core almost falls as well oh and dark in a pocket a few banes have to keep an eye on them now, zerglings what are their upgrades at okay one zero nothing else okay we're getting plus two attack oh well, the Banes aren't going to work out. Stalkers dispatching them rather handily. Plus one air attack is on the way from the heavily injured Cybercore here. Quite bruised and beaten. We also have a fleet beacon coming up behind this. So Hero is planning to go to a bit later game style, it would seem. Going to try to fight Zerglings with carriers, perhaps. Dark's upgrades coming online, getting a few roaches, getting the Bane speed as well. We're looking at that mid-game style. The Hive just completed, actually, at the 9-minute mark, and immediately choices are made. Adrenal and Ultralisk Cavern. As is a mothership. Intriguing. Okay. Two more Stargates. Mama ship on the way. Make sure that room's clean. Make sure that homework's completed, guys. She's on her way. She's not going to be happy if you've been slacking. Okay. Extra Nexus on the way. Probe count sitting at a comfy 84. Dark seems to be cutting just below that 80 mark. Adding on extra Evo. Start getting Carapace so that Zerglings maybe don't die in two hits to the Void Ray laser. Baneling attempt way over here. Well, two of them. 
I get five probes, actually. Not terrible. Not the better than zero for the Zerg, I suppose. And a little bit of denied mining, sure, annoying the Protoss as they have to put them all back to work. And over here, likewise, in turn, Zealot run by. I'm gonna get a couple drones, perhaps. Zerglings will be denied. Even a queen falls to this. But behind this, this isn't the real goal. Oh god, the links get in. Lings get into the main base, going to spot the carrier production as well. Seeing triple Stargate even gets to spot the mothership come out and angrily dispatch the Zerglings. The Dark is throwing away a lot of Zerglings. And is looking to replace them with a lot of Zerglings, it would seem. Two Ultras. Two. A whole two. Noah's Ark of the Ultralis Cavern here. Mothership having to float around far faster than she probably wants at this point in the game to deal with the Zerglings. Dark is keeping up a nice bit of pressure here, but at what point is it going to be overextending? A decent amount of roaches as well. Should be able to get this forward pylon, if we even care about this forward pylon, that is. Carriers do show themselves, and neither Zerglings nor Roaches rather adept at fighting carriers. Pun highly intended, of course. Stalker's gonna blink around, get the Roaches. They should be able to get into the natural. Once again, the core was destroyed. That's why we have this gaping door in the wall. Revelation tag on the links, making sure they don't burrow. We already saw Dark does have a burrow. Hero has Observer and Revelation, though. Now, Dark is getting a, a decent chunk of probe kills at this point. 19 going down, giving Dark a little bit of an economic lead, who is just keeping up Zergling-themed pressure. Behind this, getting a couple more Ultralisks, though. Ah, going up to six Ultras and more Queens. And you might be thinking, Ultras against Carriers. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, sort of try hitting the bear with bees at this point in the game. The carriers, the interceptors, they they don't even have plus one. Plus one was denied? Really? Okay. So you get chitinous plating and any amount of armor upgrades, the ultralisks are not going to care about the carriers. No care for yours. Okay. I think the goal might... Be, I think Dark's goal is just to annoy Hero into actually attacking. Is, did it work? 32 probes have fallen. I think Dark may have done it. Just completely pissed Hero off enough to actually go across the other side of the map. What does Dark have? That's kind of the hope, I guess, is uh, you have enough to defend once the opponent becomes so mad, so angry that they send everything across. Speedy Ultralisks not going to be able to get out. Revelation. <laughs> the Ultralisk burrows. Dark is just trying to be as annoying as possible. Hero is cleaning up most of the army forces, taking heavy losses at the same time, though. And Dark has thrown away a lot. The 400 Zerglings have been thrown away at this point in the match. Hero, you need to commit, okay? Either stick at home for the defense or go across and try to punch him. But this going back and forth is only hurting yourself at this point. Let this base be trashed. The Zerglings are already on it. These Zerglings actually go for the main nexus. Dark is just kind of everywhere. And I think now the moment has come. The moment of truth. Does the Zerg have enough to actually deflect the Protoss attack? Queens and Ultras pulled to the front line. There are Infestors here as well. Microbial Shroud, the forbidden spell used. Interceptors, they didn't even have upgrades. So reducing the base damage by 50% is going to dramatically help out, I'll say. These Queens are unstoppable with Microbial Shroud. Even Fungal Growth might be able to help out here and just keep the Interceptors pinned. Meanwhile, mind you, the Zerglings are completely decimating the Protoss' base. Things are looking pretty good, I will say, so far. There's another Microbial Shred of Stasis Ward. That was a little on the nose, Hero. Sport Crawlers even rooting into position. Fungal Growth used pinned down the carriers just a little bit, but I don't think 
hero is going to be able to break through. Trying to find a better spot. Ling's still ravaging the main base, mind you. Spore crawler helping out now too. Carrier. Oh god, that was close. Carrier does fall from the sky. Rest looking a bit injured. One of them's even at red health. More Ling's moving across. Will... Oh god, the altars are here too. The mothership's trying to help out with the defense, I'll say. Keeping a cloak up, but it will not be permanent. GG. Going to be <laughs> dark. Dark going with the annoy them to victory strategy. Making Hero just mad enough to move across the other side. Lose a couple carriers. Hero says, mm -mm, not up for this. Is some BS, somebody might call it. Dark is going to take the match. Entertaining nonetheless. I quite enjoy some of these uh, unusual compositions, unusual plays. Thank you for the recommendation, of course. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.